I think we are, we are uh, cooperating with business in many ways. Um, it's, of course, the largest bit is through our regulation, uh, where, for instance, through the Renewables Directive, um, we try to set clear objectives uh, for the deployment of technologies in Europe. Uh, and that definitely gives um, certainty and predictability to the business sector. But then we also want to push innovation and we do that through various platforms uh, that are funded under Horizon 2020 uh, to push forward the uh, development of new technologies. And there's many areas where we require them that are also very important for renewables energies, like for instance energy storage is one of the key areas that we have to look at. Um, in all our attempts in moving the agenda forward, uh, we try to consult business beforehand because we don't want to come with solutions that are seen as a nuisance at the end of the day. We want to come with something that is going to be helpful. Um, also on the side of deployment, um, we see that deployment is sometimes lacking sufficient financial support. Um, so here we have a number of systems developed, financial systems developed with the European Investment Bank. Uh, to also help some of the member states who do not have that much experience and the banking sector in those member states to drive forward and push forward on renewable energy and also on energy efficiency. There is, I think, many new attempts um, on uh, better blending private and public resources. Uh, everybody knows that public funding is short, uh, particularly if you look at the economic situation in Europe. Many countries um, have difficulties in making their books balance. Uh, that means that you need to get more for your public buck. Uh, and that means, yeah, you will have to mobilize private finance. Uh, and there are some areas that uh, look very successful, um, like for instance, mobilizing green bonds um, that is a market that has been growing very fast. So that is just in terms of mobilizing uh, finance for the right purpose. And then the second part is uh, what do you need to do in order to push new developments forward? So concessional um, funding, uh, credit guarantees, um, venture capital, uh, these are still areas uh, where we will look more into in the coming years. So financial instruments is something that is new for the public sector, but we are learning fast. Um, together with some of our friends in the banking sector, we are moving forward quite quickly. Yes, I'm very optimistic um, about a deal in Paris. Um, it's not only that uh, we have had a lot of time to prepare for the Paris deal the last four and a half years. Negotiators have been busy to push this forward. But what is more important is that really at the highest level of government, the heads of state, they see that climate change is a problem that they will have to tackle. It's not something that can wait for another two or three generations. While we have, will have to be active on climate change, but the decisions have to be taken now for the coming years. And it's very helpful uh, that many of the heads of state are taking a particular commitment in pushing these negotiations forward. Uh, and I think that is particularly true for the United States, for China and the European Union. And together we cover more than 50% of global emissions. So um, if we can be able to be together on this, then we think we can move the rest of the world as well. Um, I think business can do a great job in moving the agenda forward. Um, I think one thing that is very clear is that politicians will always watch very carefully what the reaction is of business. Uh, and if they see hesitation or even criticism, then they will not wish to move forward into the right direction. So at the moment it's very important to give the positive stories, to look at what are the business opportunities that are linked to tackling climate change. And everybody who is in the business of tackling climate change knows 
how big the opportunities are going to be. Um, they are there already today and how big they are going to be in the future. So it is a winning business model. Um, and that needs to be told to politicians and to the rest of the world very loudly. Um, because I think then we will get the support from the public side uh, to move forward on climate negotiations and to come to a good deal in Paris. And what is even more important, to really implement that deal in the years after Paris. Because promising something is one thing, but doing it in reality is a second thing. I think business is particularly good at the latter.